I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when a man is high-minded and proud, and he refuses what it is that I have for him, what shall he do? I say that he shall be left to flounder, he shall be left on his own, and I say that he shall be left far from me. And I say it is because when a man is too proud to accept what it is that I provide, such a man is a fool. And I say that he's left to go under the sorrow, the calamity, the tragedy of his own way. Now I say you are living in a time when multitudes have turned themselves away from my blessedness, away from my humility, away from what it is that I provide. And I say in so doing they've taken themselves in a way that will only prove to be trouble unto them. And I say they've taken themselves in a way that will prove to be bondage, oppression, and darkness, and fear on every hand. And I say it is because they refuse what it is that I provide. Now I say it is me, the living God, who does hear the cry, the anguish of a man's soul. And yes, I seek to answer him in the same. But I say if a man will resist and refuse what it is that I give unto him, then I say that he's left to fend for himself. And I say it is me, the living God, who does look upon him in all of his pride, in all of his contempt, in all of his haughtiness, and what do I see? I say that I see a fool who is taken far from me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to men to repent, that is exactly what they have need of. That is, they have need of repentance, they have need of the straight and narrow way, they have need of the truth of who I am. And I say, when a man will look upon and see his need, then I say that he's able to be guided by me. But I say, when a man will have contempt for what it is that I give him, he proves that he is a fool. For I say that it is me, the living God, who does indeed abundantly provide to the ones who will cleave to me. But I say, when men will refuse my way and go in the way of their own understanding, then yes, they will suffer want before me. That is, because they refused my provision, they refused my mercy, they refused my life. And I say they are the ones who pay for their high-minded pride. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time calling for all men to repent, to turn from sin, to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I'm calling for men to take the way of my provision and be thankful for the same. But I say, when a man through his pride will reject my humility way and think he can do so much better for himself, I say, such a man is nothing but an utter fool. And I say, it is because he is believing in his own capability, his own understanding, rather than me. Now I say that I, the living God, do find great joy in a people who will trust themselves to me, who will believe upon me and look to me. That is, the ones who will be accepting of what it is that I give them, what it is that I offer and provide. For I say, if any people will trust, believe, and hope in me, then I say they are guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the strength, the truth, the mercy each day, for it is me, the living God, who guides them in the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never ever intended that the ones who serve me, the ones who love me, would be ever far from me. That is, that they would be trusting in their own capability rather than me. That they would be trusting in their own understanding rather than what it is that I provide. But I say because they are trusting in themselves rather than me, then I say they take the hard way. But I say it is me, the living God, who would have given unto them the straight and narrow way, the way of my provision, the way of my mercy, the way of my humility that I do bring. But I say when men refuse what it is that I offer to them, then I say they must scramble upon their own. That is, upon their own resource, their own understanding, and their own way. Now I say you are living in a time when men undergo multiplied sorrows and hardships, and I will tell you why it is so. I say it is because they have chosen a way of opposition, a way of darkness, evil, and iniquity, and yes, they are loving the same. And I say they have chosen that which I, the living God, never ever intended for them, and they are going in the way of the same. And I say it is because they think they know more than they know. Now I say this day that I, the living God, can bring a wretched man 
unto an abundant place and he can turn his nose up at the same. That is, he can think he is better than what it is that I give, what it is that I provide because of his pride. Then I say that he's left with his own resource, he's left with his own understanding, and I say that he's left with his paltry provision that he thinks is so much greater than I. And I say that he's left in the desolation of his own way. Now I say this day, unless a man repents of his high-mindedness, his pride, and his rejection of what it is that I provide, then I say that I will be God will not give assistance unto such a man. For I say that when men will refuse me, abuse me, and accuse me, I say they will lose me because of their pride. But I say when a man will see the error of his way, repent, and return to my way, then I say that he's found well pleasing unto me. Now I say this day you are living in times of darkness, you are living in times of calamity, you are living in times of devastation and despair. And I say when men are found to be living in those times, I say they should realize what mercy it is that I offer to them. But I say when men are blinded by pride and secure in themselves, then I say they reject my call to repentance, they reject my provision, they reject my light. And I say they go in a way that will prove to be despairing, that will prove to be emptiness, futility, and darkness of soul. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to feed on the world and the vanity of the same and claim it is me that you serve. But I say that I call you to be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in truth by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be purposed in my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Therefore I say each day, be thankful for my way, be thankful for my truth, be thankful for my life. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give to the ones who serve me, the way that is glorious, the way that is wondrous, the way that I provide. And I say when a man will humble himself through repentance, revolution, and walk in my way, I say that he will be finding how much mercy I give. But I say when men will have their proud images in their minds and all of the idols they worship as primary before me, then I say they reject my merciful provision unto them. And I say, instead, they choose the way of their idolatry, of their abomination and pride. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to live in pride, to partake of pride, and be directed in pride. But I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you can indeed be brought forth in my way. That is, that you can be given the truth, the light, the strength, the mercy of who I am. For it's me, the living God, who gives thee the same. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, and bring forth the people who are ever cleaving unto me. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that I, the living God, do give to you the way of repentance, the way of humility, the way of eternal life. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go in the way of the high-minded, the proud fools who end up in their own mire. For I say, when a man rejects my provision, rejects my way, and thinks he is superior unto me, what does he prove? I say that he proves he's nothing but a fool because he is far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do know exactly what it is that my own people have need of, and yes, I give to them the same. And I say when they will accept my provision with gladness, thanksgiving, and rejoicing, and walk in the humility way that I provide, then I say they are kept by me. But I say, when any man, woman, or child will walk afar off from me according to the dictates of pride, then I say they will know the desolation of the same. For I say that I, the living God, never called my people to be ruled, to be governed by pride, and when they go in such a way, then they lose out with me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving forth the call to all to repent, to return to me, to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who will serve me to be thankful each day that it is me that they can follow after and obey. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who lay claim to me to walk in humility with me. 
for I say it is me, the living God, who will provide for the ones who are needy of me. But I say, when a man will see what it is that I offer, and turn up his nose at the same, and think he is better than he is, I say, such a man is an utter fool. That is, when he will have contempt for my mercy, contempt for my straight and narrow way, which is the way of eternal life. I say, such a man through his pride is blinded, led astray, and turned over to his idols that will do him no good. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does intend that men would be ever serving in obedience unto me. That is, that they could be brought forth, uplifted, guided, and directed in the way of my life. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, am at this time giving forth the call to all to repent, and those who hear and obey will be guided in my way. But I say that the ones who will refuse my guidance, refuse my call, I say they end in a ditch. And I say they will wallow in the mire of their own making and bring forth nothing but the wind. And I say that those who will keep their idols, their sorrows are multiplied. For I say that I, the living God, never called men to worship idols, to bow to idols, and be ever serving idols. But I say that I've called men to come forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am, ever made glad for my way. For I say, when a man will look to me, believe upon me, and trust in me, then he is guided forth by me. But I say, when men are kept in the darkness, the evil of their own way, then I say, they are shame unto my name. Now I say, this day when a man will cry out to me, and call upon me, and I will direct such a man, I say that he's meant to accept my direction. And I say that he's meant to be thankful that I make the way that I do provide, that I will give unto him such as he needs. But I say when a man cries out unto me, then he rejects my provision, rejects my way that I offer, what does he prove? I say that he proves that he's trusting in his idols, he's trusting in his own understanding rather than me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the way of life, the way of truth, and the way of mercy, I say be thankful for the same. And I say be glad for the call to repentance, revolution, that you can choose to walk each day in the same. That you can indeed be uplifted, guided, directed, and corrected, because it is me that you serve. That you can be thankful that I purpose, direct, and correct thee, for yes, indeed you are mine. I say, therefore, be glad for the privilege to believe, receive, and come forth ever guided by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives mercy and truth, life and hope, and the peace to all who are believing in me. Therefore, I say, be thankful for the humility way, the repentance revolution that will work in your life. That is, if you trust yourself to me, always believing and hoping in me. I say, do not be as the high-minded, dull and dumb, stupid, hard-headed fools who do it their way. For I say, they are the ones who end in a heap caused by their own pride. As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and at the doors of the houses, say to one another, each to his brother, come and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. And they come to you as people come, and they sit before you as my people. And they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with lustful talk in their mouths they act. Their heart is set on their gain. And behold, you are to them like one who sings lustful songs with a beautiful voice, and plays well on an instrument. For they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come it will. Then they will know that a prophet has been among them. Cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their transgression, to the house of Jacob their sin. The times of ignorance God overlooked. But now he commands all people everywhere to repent.